Well, hectic morning for the start <laughs> of Sam Rayburn. We got launched. We were running a little bit late. Forgot the net. Got no net. 10 minutes to take off, but we made it. We're out here. Boat 38. They're calling boat numbers right now. We're idling out to make sure we don't miss our boat number now. Fishing with James today. We're hoping for the best. Hoping for a big bag. Hoping uh, some, some big fish want to bite. It's cold out here. It's the coldest day so far. Big thank you to GCI Outdoors, Waterland, Fishing Optics, Six Sense Fishing, and Do It Molds without them. We wouldn't be out here, wouldn't be making this video. Also, thank you to G uh, Last Chance Performance Marine, Owner Hooks and Bucket Bass. Got the Bucket Bass gear on right now. It's keeping me nice and warm, but let's go. We got some fish to catch. Day one, Sam Rayburn, Toyota Series, let's go. Number 37, There's one. Fish out. Ooh. Bring him to me. There we go. Fish in the boat. Fish all on the boat. Thank you. Drop shot. Drop shot. Fish on the board. Not a giant, but we'll take him. We will take him. All right, well, we are on the board with one. Not a big one, but we got one. Hopefully there's more down there. We'll have to come back here too, because there's still fish down there. I just saw one swimming around. Mm -hmm. I got three bites on here and I got bit on here yesterday so I know there's plenty of fish down there. It's hard to see them because of the way the brush is set up but... There's one. Little one. Wow. Thirteen and a half. There's no way that guy goes, but I guess we're here, so there's one more. There's one.
There's one. Stay on. Stay on. Oh. Mm, sorry. It's all right. It's in there. Well, definitely a tough day so far. Three in the boat. James has one. Got a lot of work to do. I got three small ones. If I can't get a big bite sometime today, this tournament's gonna be pretty much over, but still got time. Still got about three hours. Plenty of time to get two fish, plenty of time to get one big one. So let's do this. There's one. There's one. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. There we go. That's how it's done. There we go. There we go. Another rat, but getting closer to having five.
So day one of this Sam Rayburn tournament has come to a close. I'm filming this after the tournament, obviously. I'm out here, I'm back home, but day one was rough, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I had higher expectations. I had some offshore stuff that I was really counting on, getting a big bite in, and when the day was over and I'm done fishing, I finished weighing in, I was pretty, pretty bummed out. I was really disappointed in the day. I really wanted to do better. I had higher expectations. I caught a six pounder in practice on one of my deep spots, got bit on again the day before the tournament, but I didn't go, I didn't catch that fish because I wanted to save it for tournament day. I was frustrated in the morning when I got there and it was blown out. The spot was blown out in the morning. It was too windy. There's too many waves coming in. I couldn't effectively fish it. So then that's when I went up and started fishing one of my brush piles that was deep. Caught a fish doing that. And then I started fishing shallow. And the shallow bite was there. That, that bite would have done well for me. And I should have done well with it. But I was fishing too shallow. I was fishing bank shallow when I needed to be fishing outside grass line shallow. And the outside grass lines with the creek channel coming up next to it were the key and I missed out on that bite. I should have been doing that. In my head, I should have known that. We had a big cold front that came through and I really think it pulled some of those fish from the bank out to that deeper grass line. I didn't make that adjustment and it, and it really showed because my weight wasn't what it needed to be. I didn't have a limit, so I struggled. It wasn't the day that I was hoping to have and that's just the way it goes in tournament fishing. But the crazy thing is, is that even though this bag was small, I wasn't completely out of being able to get a check. I needed to catch a big bag on day two, but it's Rayburn, it's doable. Guys catch 40 pound bags there. So I knew that I needed to catch a big bag going into day two in order to salvage the tournament, in order to get a check, in order to get some points for the Southwestern division because there was a chance that I was gonna finish the final three events out there in Oklahoma and Rayburn again at the end of April. So I needed, I need to go into day two and I need to catch some big ones and I need to have a good bag to salvage this tournament, to salvage some points, to salvage some pride <laughs> and to just have a little bit more fun because I grinded and I grinded and I grinded and it just didn't work out. So stay tuned for day number two. It's gonna be the next video in this Rayburn series. A big thank you to GCI Outdoors, Waterland, Fishing, do it molds and six cents for sponsoring these videos this entire rayburn series and then the rest of the flws coming down the road this season but big shout out big thank you to all of them for their support and then obviously got to thank last chance performance marine owner and buck and bass and uh guys hope you enjoyed today's video day two is coming up and uh if you liked it give the video a thumbs up if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to my channel. Any questions or anything like that, leave them down in the comments. If you just wanna get a conversation going, that's cool as well. But I hope you enjoyed the, the series so far, the practice days into the tournament day. And uh, rough day one, but we got day two, so stay tuned. Let's check out how day two goes when that video comes out here pretty soon. So again, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.